Hey everyone, I'm Trevor, and today we're at Disneyland to try every single burrito in both parks and let you know which one is the best. So let's get going. For our first burrito of the video, we're coming to Smoke Jumper's Grill. Burgers and more. Burritos is the more. And here is a look at those two burritos that we're gonna be getting. Amy was just pointing out that here on the sign, it does say made without animal meat, dairy, eggs, or honey. So yep, plant-based menu item. I have no idea which ones these are. We ordered a, a classic breakfast burrito, which I assume is this one because it's slightly bigger. And then we ordered a chorizo burrito. And I assume that's this one because it's smaller, but we'll cut into them. We'll find out exactly what they are. So I was wrong. The smaller one, this is the smaller one, a cross section of it. So this is the classic burrito. Uh, it's got sausage, eggs, bacon, cheese, and uh, a hash browns. And then the bigger one was the chorizo, which we see some chorizo meat there. Uh, also looks like some hash browns, but uh, maybe there's, oh yeah, I think I see some cheese in there too but I don't see any egg or sausage or anything like that. So that's the, the chorizo. Each burrito came with a tiny little thing of salsa for you know putting on there. And they each came with little bags of fries too. So this is actually a full on meal. Uh, both of these items are like 13 something dollars. Amy is trying the first bite. That's pretty good. It's, um, you'll actually probably like this one if we get it in the future because it doesn't have a lot of eggs in it. It's very loaded with the sausage, the bacon, the cheese. I like this, so I think the kids will like it too. I'll take her word for it because uh, I'm gonna try the chorizo. All right, never mind. I try. I changed my mind. I'm also gonna try this one. Let's set it down. I actually think that I prefer the classic breakfast. Um, the chorizo is good. Don't get me wrong. We we're giving the classic breakfast to the kids uh, just because it's the the most normal, I guess. I don't think the kids will like the chorizo. But just personally speaking, I think I like the classic one better. What did you think? I think it's pretty good, but I agree. I like. So the you tried that? She just tried the chorizo. But it's not bad. Like I like that it has lots of meat. You can't tell that it's plant based. I don't think, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I think it's pretty good. I'm not saying I'm not a big fan of the chorizo. I just prefer the classic better. And it's not because of the impossible meat. It's just that the flavoring, I think I just prefer the classic flavor. Our next burrito, also located in Disney California Adventures, over here at Lucky Fortune Cookery. And here we have the Bulgogi Beef Burrito for $13.99, which is made with seasoned rice and cabbage slaw and comes with a side of garlic chips. You seem unsure, unsure. Yeah, I feel like I taste mostly the burrito and the rice, and uh, that I can't really taste the bulgogi flavor. Like I've had much better bulgogi things other than this burrito, and compared to the burrito that we just had earlier today, even breakfast burritos, both of the breakfast burritos beat this out in my opinion. So that's just my thoughts. I don't know, it's just too dry, and the, the bulgogi flavoring isn't strong enough. I agree. It needs some type of sauce on there. I don't know what. Maybe just bulgogi sauce, but it needs some sort of little bit of like wetness to the top of that. Otherwise, it's kind of dry. So I went up and asked, and they did have soy sauce packets and a little cup of teriyaki sauce that I could get. So we're going to try that on the burrito and see if it improves it at all. I did feel that adding the teriyaki sauce really helped the burrito. Unfortunately, it basically just meant that the burrito tasted like a teriyaki chicken or teriyaki beef burrito rather than a bulgogi. Uh, I did find that the very, very bottom of the burrito was some bulgogi sauce. So I'm wondering if, like, I noticed when I put the teriyaki in too, that the teriyaki just dropped straight through the rice. And I'm guessing that the bulgogi happened the same way. It just dropped straight through the rice. It was all down at the bottom of the burrito. For our next burrito, I came to the shawarma palace too. And now this isn't really a burrito, it's a shawarma. But uh, I didn't know they had a breakfast one, so I thought we'd give it a try. Now this is the breakfast shawarma. So we're gonna open it up here. We've got, uh, looks like a sausage cut in half. We've got some egg in there and some potato barrels. Now, oh, it looks like some cheese back there as well. This is an impossible dish, means this is impossible meat. And this is uh, substitute egg and that there is a dairy-free cheese so it is completely plant-based and vegan friendly and uh, it's the only reason why I'm trying it because I don't like egg but the I found that the substitute egg I can actually enjoy so we're gonna give the shawarma up here a try first bite was mostly pita didn't get a whole lot of the 
inside, so let's have another bite. Yeah, that's good. Maybe not the best breakfast burrito type item that I've had similar to this, but uh, it also comes with this maple dipping sauce. So I'm gonna try dip it and see if that makes a big difference. Here we go. Definitely gives it more of a like pancakey flavor. Not sure how I like that. I do like pancakes and maple syrup, but on this shawarma, I don't know, it just feels like a sort of clash of flavors, like a shawarma is supposed to be, um, you know, like Greek, that sort of um, Mediterranean type of dish. And the maple syrup looks like a clash of Canada. I will say that the dip adds um, some like sauciness and, and flavor to it, where otherwise it feels a little bit dry. That's probably the biggest benefit of the dipping sauce. Otherwise, I'm honestly fine without it. As far as the impossible aspect of the dish goes, I actually really enjoyed it. I've actually been finding that I like substitute egg when I don't like regular egg. And as far as the meat and the cheese go, as much as I love meat and cheese, you really couldn't tell the difference. So it is a, a fantastic new option that I just discovered that's plant-based. I didn't know that they had that before today. Next, we actually have the burrito that gave us the idea for this whole video to begin with, and that's the steak and egg burrito from the cappuccino cart in DCA. This footage is the same as from that original video. Here is a look at the cross section. Honestly, a little dry. Uh, there's no cheese in here. Egg, potatoes, um, steak, maybe some guac, but not a lot of guac. It's like enough to turn some of the food greenish color, but not enough to be like enough of a sauce. So Amy went to go see if they have salsa that we could dip this in. And success, salsa. she found some salsa. So I guess we're just gonna pour it on there and hope that that works and it seeps down in. Mmm, mm, much, much better with the salsa. The salsa definitely is kind of needed. Um, there wasn't a lot of flavor in the first couple of bites, but this is helping a lot and this is actually really good. Yeah, it There's is. a lot in it. What do you think between this and the chimichanga we usually get? The chimichanga is good, though that's fried, so it's probably way more unhealthy. Um, I'm be curious to try the burrito at Galactic Grill, I think it is. They have a breakfast burrito. So I guess maybe we need to a do burrito a, video? a burrito video. <laughs> <laughs> For our next burrito, we're coming to Galactic Grill. It's in the morning. They're getting a breakfast burrito. So this one is only available until I think 10 o'clock, Amy said. And this is the American breakfast burrito with egg, bacon, sausage, hash browns, and cheese for $10.99. Amy's gonna have a bite. It's warm, which is nice. The sausage is good, and there's a big chunk of tater tot there right in the middle, or hash brown. So, yeah, so far I really like it. They're all slightly different from each other, which is why we're doing this burrito video for you guys, because um, the last one we had, I think, had a little bit more egg than this one, so Trevor might like this one better. So far, so good. So we asked for salsa packets. You actually have to ask at the counter for these, but I already put some salsa on the end of mine here, so I'm excited to, to bite. So there's still quite a bit of egg in here, which of course I'm not wowed about, like Amy said. But I feel like the overwhelming flavor that I'm getting is actually the sausage. So that's really good because it's not like an eggy flavor. Even though there are eggs, I don't really taste the eggs. So yeah, I can excuse this. Comparing it to Smoke Jumpers, it has been a little while now, almost a month since we've got the Smoke Jumpers burritos. But I feel like Smoke Jumpers are better. Like both of them, I felt like were better than this one. And they came with fries. And they came with fries. That were really good. Oh yeah. So honestly, yeah. Breakfast burrito, Smoke Jumpers. In Frontierland, there is this little market right next to the entrance to Big Thunder Mountain, a railroad called the Ship to Shore Market. And this is the line for it over here off to the right. They sell chimichangas in the morning, a breakfast chimichanga until they run out, and then regular ones. It's the morning, so we're gonna grab a breakfast one. And here it is, our breakfast chimichanga. This thing is piping hot. It's kind of hot in my hand to hold it. Uh, but it came in a meat or veggie variety. We ordered the meat variety. They also had a green chili like salsa that you could get. And that was an extra dollar fifty. So this was six ninety nine for an extra dollar fifty. You could get the salsa. We we passed on the salsa, but here we go. So inside we have some meat, egg. I think there might be some onion in there. I don't know if there's any cheese, but um, yeah, pretty pretty typical like breakfast burrito. And 
It's really nice and warm. That's the best big benefit of it. So like on a cold day here at Disneyland, come here and get this wonderfully warm chimichanga after riding Big Thunder. How is the chimichanga? Oh, kid approved. It's so hard to rank a lot of these burritos, especially the breakfast variety, because they're all pretty much the same in terms of like content in the burrito. But there's just something about that breakfast chimichanga. Hmm, it was really good. Maybe it's how warm it was or how juicy it was. I don't know. I, I loved it though. So we are here at Rancho Del Zocalo restaurant because uh, this is, in my opinion, the best burrito that you are gonna find at Disneyland Resort. Uh, we filmed this the other day. It's the Burrito Sonora, and we filmed it for our money savings tip video because we often split this. Um, but, but what do you think about this burrito compared to some of the others? So I do like this burrito. Um, however, one of my other favorite ones is, it's new, it's the breakfast burrito from Smoke Jumpers. And I was pleasantly surprised with the breakfast burrito because their meals at lunch and dinner are just, they're mediocre, they're not our favorite. But their new breakfast burrito there comes with seasoned fries that are really good. And oh, yeah. we did actually really like the breakfast burrito at Smoke Jumpers. So for me, it would be a toss up, but one's a breakfast burrito, one's, you know, a lunch and dinner yeah. burrito. So. I, I think as far as the breakfast burritos go, yes, Smoke Jumpers has the best options. The thing about the Rancho burrito is that, I mean, it's packed full of stuff. You've got a choice between chicken or beef. The chicken one is a little bit cheaper. It's covered in sauce. It's got like cilantro sprinkled on top and it comes with rice and beans. Where the other burritos are like wrapped and burritos and tinfoil. Yeah, this one's plated and it's presented very nice. And of course it's a little bit higher quality um, because of that. So I think personally, hands down, um, the burrito here at Rancho Del Zocalo takes best in show for all of the burritos here at the Disneyland Resort. And that's it for our time here today, finding the best burrito at Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you'd like to see more videos in this series, let me know down in the comments below and click this one to watch our best burger video. Thanks for watching and we will see you again next time.